is a hub around MPV5, but this power chair has the electric seat lift. Uh, this is a hub around made in the USA, the only chair that's made here in the US. Uh, you can see in the front, there's your motor for your seat lift. Uh, to make the seat go up and down, the only thing you have to do is hit the button here on the joystick, push the joystick forward, and your seat will go up five, six inches, as you can see. This chair will not drive with the seat elevated, so you need to bring the seat back down. There's a sensor right here that stops the seat, stops the chairs from going forward until this is pushed back down from the seat. So if you want this, the chair to move, you need to bring your seat back down, then your chair will drive. Now this power chair is almost a new condition. As you can see by the tire, the tires has they're practically brand new. The foot plate is here. You can flip the foot plate for easy access. If you need to put the chair in neutral, you have two levers here. Make sure your chair is turned off. Push your levers down and your chair is in neutral. Push your levers back up and you're back in here. This hover round has the old hover round motors. These are the most powerful motors they ever put in the hover round chair. So this one here has the old motors, but you can see by the round knob, those are the heavy duty motors. Uh, the same motors they put on their 450 pound power chairs. So also the seat on this power chair is extra large. This is a 23 by 17, 18 deep, 23 inches by 17, 18 deep. If this seat is too large and you need this chair because of the seat lift, we can switch the seat to a standard 19 by 19 standard, uh, uh, same seat, but a little bit smaller. So we can change the seat around. If you go with this seat, uh, this seat is practically new. There is a little bit of a uh, scuff on the side of the seat here, which is hardly noticeable. Uh, the seat does have a little bit of an angle to which does not affect the riding of the chair, but we're not going to get it fixed because it's not enough. There's about a half an inch difference between this arm and this arm on the seat, but you can't tell the difference when you're sitting in it. But just in case, we don't know if it got hit here when someone moved in, in transportation, but the seat itself is fine, other than having a little bit about a half an inch different angle. So if you want to know what your turning radius on your chair is, so if you're in the house, this is what you'll need to turn your chair. The chair turns pretty much charge this chair, the only thing you have to do is take your charger, plug it in the bottom of the joystick, and when the light on your charger turns green, you're fully charged. Now, when the charger stops charging, the chair will not charge anymore, the charger will turn off, so you're not overcharging the batteries. This, these, these chargers know when the batteries are full and they'll turn off when the batteries are full. Uh, the arms are adjustable up and down. There's, an arm, there's a bag over here. The arms do go out if you need more, more width. And the seat is adjustable back and forth depending on where you want it with an adjustment here in the back. And it does flip down for transportation. You do have a large safety belt. So this is the hover round in practically new condition with the seat lift. This chair is ready to go. This is a very smooth riding chair. If you need to switch the joystick from the left side to the right side, that's no problem at all. We can switch it from the left to the right. No problem at all. Easy exiting this chair by flipping the foot plate up.